What's up, guys? Quentin Quickshot here, and we're here to review the friggin' update 3.12.2.0. So, as you can see, there's so much friggin' stuff here. Holy crap. Okay. I'm gonna stop talking, and we're gonna get right to it. Okay, this is cool, but I hit the wrong button. Uh, PI. Let's go. My computer's absolute garbage, but I don't care. Blah. Okay, so if we hit shift tab here, yes, we should get all the IDs. Okay, so I already set this up. Okay, 1018 is the new saber tooth. Let's see this. Whoa. Okay then. Uh, my character's a lefty. I'll put this right quick. Okay, it's a saber tooth mag. It can fit a sight, a grip, a tactical, and a barrel. There's no extended mag version of it. So, uh... So it's a semi-automatic hunting rifle, I assume. Okay, we're gonna go slay a zambi. Okay, this is an unarmored zambi. Two shots to the body, one shot to the head. If you can't hit the head, then uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you're not going to make it very far. So, that's the saber tooth. We're going to have all the zombies over here. Stop following me, please. Stop following me. I'm unarmed. Okay. So. There we go. There's the saber tooth. Looks absolutely beast. Very, very nice. Now, we're gonna get to. We're gonna look at the Avenger 1021. So we're gonna go one zero two one. We're gonna spawn one of those in. It's a pistol. I kind of figured it can hold a barrel and a tactical. That's 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 a case. This is the case of the really good pistol. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it sounds. Oh, okay. I was I was expecting like a loud desert eagle due to the bulky feel of this weapon. It looks like a high-tech version of the deagle. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot this guy in the body. How many body shots? Two body shots. So very powerful weapon. How many shots to the head? We're gonna get a quick look. One shot to the head. It's been confirmed. All right, we have six shots left. Let's accuracy test. So we're gonna go with distance shots on this tree. So we have five shots, five stations. This is your standard pistol range. This is recommended for any pistol, but we're gonna see how well it does. Hold a sec. I'm gonna end these two guys. So, we're going to shoot at the recommended pistol ranges, which is medium to short distance, which is in between where I'm standing in the tree right now, and a longer distance, which is going to be back here. So, basically, we're going to stand right here and shoot at the tree. Okay, so it's obviously going to hit the tree. This is basically just a spread test, how, how far the bullet spreads. Okay, so... Very nice, very nice. This is a really beast weapon. Sabretooth and Avenger. This is this is very nice. Okay, so we're gonna drop it right next to the Avenger. Okay, these are two very nice guns. Now we're gonna check out the police baton. Wait, yeah? Okay. 1023. 1023. It's a police baton, so you're just gonna keep whacking people like this. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks just like the one from 2.0. You, like, do this weird flippity thing, and you whack the zombie. So, obviously, when you're using melee weapons, you want to aim for the head, so we're not gonna go for a body shot, because I'm probably gonna get smacked pretty hard. So, 
We're gonna run up to a zombie here. Hey, zombies, I'm over here. <laughs> okay, let's just, yeah, let's play whack-a-mole with the zombie. Which one did I have? Which, which zombie I at? Seriously? Where's, where's the damn zombie? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just kill this one. So, let's see. <laughs> okay, then. Three shots to the head. Knocks the zombie right out. And after a kill, we've gone down a percentage. So, I'm thinking that between one and two kills, it drops a percentage. So, this is good for 50 to 100 kills, and then it will start to, like, not be as effective. Like, we can try hitting a tree with it. If it doesn't, if it takes more than 10 hits, then it's not effective for cutting down a tree. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, this thing's recommended for swinging at zombies. Humans have a lot more health than zombies, so it's not recommended. Bruh, that's sick. Is this the inspect button? It's F. Wait, 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 wait. Bruh, that's sick. Wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? No, 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 no. This is... Wow. Wow. Okay. This just brought a whole damn level to what we're about to do. Okay, so now we're gonna check out the Peacemaker. The Peacemaker's 1024. So, we're gonna go 1024, spawn this one in. It's a Pro 90 from, yeah. Okay, we're gonna hit F, ex inspect the weapon. This is like CSGO shit right here. We're gonna, we're gonna fire it off. Accuracy, let's see, from here. Kick's pretty tough. But, this weapon's, I guess, for close quarters combat. This is, this is, this is the bare bones. Okay, from, from the hill here, as you can see, we have shot, we have pretty much friggin' sprayed the entire wall. So, recommended for close quarters, I was shooting at burst at start, that's my bad, but it's not a very accurate piece of weaponry. Unless you can gear up with attachments and up your sharpshooter skill, this is not recommended for medium to far range. So, it has a 50 round mag, as you can see here. It can fit a sight, a tactical, a barrel, and ammo. There's no sort, none of these weapons I believe have extended clips at the moment. And it will fit in your sidearm slot. I think any weapon that is 2x3 can fit in your sidearm slot. Or 3x2. Anything anything bigger than that will not fit on your sidearm slot. So, we have checked out the Peacemaker. Now we're going to check out the Viper. 1027. So we're going to go 1027. We're going to enter that in. And it's a assault rifle. No, it's a, a submachine gun. Finally, they've added a freaking submachine gun to the game. It looks like an MIPSK from Black Ops Zombies. No, no, an MP5. No, an MP7 from Black Ops 2 Zombies. Yes, that's what it looks like. As you can see here, it fits a sight, a tactical, a grip, and a barrel, and it has a 20 foot mag. Now, this also fits in your sidearm slot. That's amazing. I finally have substitutes for the Honey Badger. So, we're just going to give it a quick full auto Okay, so, the horizontal kick is massive. The vertical, gr the vertical kick is not as good. Recommended a ver uh, horizontal grip for the grip. Very, very nice weapon, though. High rate of fire. Meant for medium to close range. That's what sidearms are for. As you can see, we started to shoot here and then we went up like this and the bullets are despawning now so recommended for medium to far range bare bones if you have a horizontal grip and a decent scope you could go i bet you could go very far with this actually just to figure out we can go 1008 spawn ourselves a range finder how far can this motherfucker go okay so we're shooting at about 40 meters so yeah we were shooting at about 40 meters how far can it go 